Asking someone to be your mentor is often the scariest part of the mentorship process and most people are having a fear of rejection and that's why they never initiate the first meeting. In our previous video, we spoke about different ways to find a mentor and if you have not watched that, I put the link down below and I encourage you to watch that first. And today, I want to share with you three tips on how to deal with your mentors. To take some pressure off yourself and make it easier, remind yourself that the people you admire have most probably had various mentors throughout their lives who have helped them to get to where they are today and they're willing to help others in the same way. So the tip number one is to ask for a 15 to 30 minutes coffee break. If you want to connect with them, start with a simple ask of a quick 15 to 30 minutes virtual or face-to-face -face coffee break. You can just drop them a short email by sharing one or two things you admire about their work, then tell them a little bit about yourself and why are you reaching out, what would you like to learn from them, and wrap it up with your ask. Something like this. I have been reading about your work in this area. I'm very interested in building my career in the same area and I would like to hear how you did it. Would it be possible for us to have a quick video chat sometimes within the next couple of weeks? And there you go. Remember, the first meeting must be a low commitment for your target mentor and will give you an opportunity to better understand them, gauge your chemistry and see if they would be the right fit for you. After the first meeting, it's all about nurturing the relationship, getting to know them deeper and follow-up sessions. The second tip is to always go prepared. In my experience, most mentors are not great teachers because mentoring is not what they're doing for a living. It's like asking a millionaire how you become a millionaire. It's, it's very difficult questions to answer just like that. And most mentors are not able to share ideas and suggestions with you off the top of their head. Therefore, the conversation might end up being casual chit chat and it doesn't really get you the quality you're looking for. Yes, sometimes it's good to let the conversation flow and let the creativity and curiosity bring you places, but to improve the quality of your sessions, it's best to always come up with a set of questions and share with your mentors a few days before meeting up so that they can be prepared too. This would make for a more organized mentoring session with the predetermined objectives to be accomplished. What I found interesting is that mentors often wouldn't be able to tell you exactly what to do because they are not God, right? They can't really guarantee anything, but what they can do is to tell you what not to do and that can save you years of trial and error. The third tip is to set mentorship sessions for only one hour per month. People often look at mentorship as a huge commitment, but mentorship sessions shouldn't be too long because everybody has their own things to do. So neither party in the mentor-mentee relationship needs to be under pressure from long conversation on a specific topic, though I've sometimes found it fascinating to sit and just talk for hours with a mentor, but the problem was that the next time we want to meet up, the mentor may avoid getting together because of the knowledge of how long the conversation might last. So I often end the one hour conversation by saying something like this. I found this conversation very fruitful. Let me work on this area as you have shared with me and let me get back to you by next month. I don't want to take up your time any longer and you better get to work and get it done because mentors will feel amazed by seeing someone who really takes their pearl seriously rather than someone who just listens and discover the next you meet, nothing has been done. I guarantee you that that would be the last time you meet them. So to summarize it, tip number one 
is to first ask for a 15 to 30 minutes coffee break. Second tip is to always go prepare and share your questions with your mentor beforehand. And the third tip is to keep it for a one hour session per month. Remember, it's always the responsibility of the mentee to be hungry for mentors' knowledge and experience. Some mentors have spent their whole life to learn something and you can't expect them to chase you for that. So once the mentor sees that the mentee is hungry for their knowledge, they are more than happy to share even more than you expected. Hey, my first book in control is now available for order. You can get it wherever you are from Shopee, Lazada, Book Depository, and Amazon. If you like what you see, click on the like button down there, subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out on any of my new videos.